Hello there, I am Giant Grodo with more Pokemon Plat Platinum, Pokemon Diamond, with more of my Pokemon Diamond Redux, I should say. Yeah, in the last part, we um, started our adventure. We went to the Lake Verity and we used starter Pokemon that weren't ours in a Starway attack, defend us from a Starway attack. And now we're here, um, after Professor Rowan decided to go back to his lab, after he said, like, oh, hmm, Piplup and Chimchar. Yeah, what's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. And I'm so glad th that both of you, Sam, y both you and Sam were unhurt. Um, the professor, what you, the professor, the professor, the professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandrip Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies in, on Pokemon. I hear he is quite interest intimidating. Stephen, I think you need to visit him in Sandrip Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. I know, Stephen, put these on. We got the running shoes, yeah. Which the running shoes is, um, the X button? The Y button in this game, actually, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, with the running shoes, you can run, you can get into faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. To press the B button. Are you sure it's the B button? Okay, I guess it is the B button. And dash uh, about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Yeah, I guess it's nifty. So is it the B button? Yeah, it's the B button, okay. So it's not the, yeah, the, the Y button. The Y, yeah, the Y button is the, uh, shortcut button, but we'll get to that later. Let's go to route 201. Okay, so, uh, if you run in wild grass, you get like a 3% or 50% chance, better chance of running into wild Pokemon, which can be good or bad depending on your situation. Uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna... Try to get into the- No, I wanted to talk to the guy and get a free potion before I ran into another Pokemon, but that's okay, it's whatever. Okay, here's a beauty level too. Also, this game has day and night settings and scenery and all that. So I'm playing this at like, at 5 o'clock. Well, I'm playing this actually at 7 o'clock at night. But on my, uh, emulated clock for my DS, um, it should be around 5, I'm guessing. Because it would be dark out by, um, now if I- if it's 7 actually. And it is 7 when I'm recording this. So like it should be nighttime. It should it should be nighttime, not like um after uh, not like sunset. Uh, scratch attack, I guess. We'll paint this for experience. We do make good HM slaves. I'm be, I'm definitely gonna be catching one later. Um, when I get pokeballs and stuff. So, yay, that's something to look forward to, I guess. If, I, if you're interested, <laughs> I don't know what you guys are interested in when you're watching my videos. Whether it's help, I'm trying to help you or whether you're stuck in a part of the game or just watching it for entertainment. I do appreciate every single view I get. That's the truth. Critical hit, nice. Critical hits, um, no matter, like, if they raise their stats or you get your stats lowered, um, it'll be, like, 2.5 times more effective, um, and it will, um, be, like, uh, it'll ignore the stat changes on, um, you or your opponent, you know, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Hi, look at the Pokemon. Do you need? Do you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP? Yes, I did know that. If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and cannot battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. Free, for, uh, first one's free. <laughs> it will automatically go in the bag, in the medicine pocket in your bag. We got the potion. Which I'm gonna just explain the bag right here in a second. Oh man, one step away from being out of the tall grass. Another beauty if this one's level two, okay. So yeah. Scratch then. I think you can, yeah, you can only run into Starly and Bidoof on this route. And on this first route, I think they only level two to three, so you're not too hard to knock out. It's good. It's good first experience. By the time you get to um, Sandrum Town, you should at least be level six. Um, but you don't have to be level six, but it's helpful if you're level six because uh, you'll face more tougher Pokemon in the upcoming routes. And see right there, Chimchar grew to level six. 
And we'll get to nickname Chimchar in a little bit. Still have to think of a nickname. I was really unsure at this point. Still unsure. Also, if I open up my bag, I can show off that um we have a items pocket, which we don't have any items. We have a medicine pocket, we have one potion, that's it. We have Pokeballs, we don't have any Pokeballs yet. We don't have any TMs or HMs. We don't have any berries, we don't have any mail, we don't have any battle items, and we don't have any key items. So, because it's the beginning of our journey, so we don't have a lot of stuff, because our playtime's only like, what, 6-7 minutes? Maybe more than actually, maybe like 30 minutes by now, honestly. So when we get to Sandjum Town, Dawn will be all shocked. Oh, there you are, please come with me, the professor is waiting. This is it, our professor Re Pokemon research lab, let's go. Thud. Oh my gosh, how many times does Sam have to run into me? What the? Oh, it's you, Stephen. The, the old guy, he's not scary. So, he's not so scary much as he is totally out there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it doesn't matter, Stephen. I'm out of here. See, Melly, uh, see you later. I'm thinking about Gary when he, Gary Oaks us Smelly or something like that. Your rival in Pokemon Leaf Green is right now. I skipped over some dialogue. Your friend seems to be. Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's go inside. Okay. This is some great music coming up. Finally, you've come. Steven, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give you that Chimchar to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it... Would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. Um. Let's see, it's gonna be evolving into Infernape. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make all my Pokemon nicknames all in all caps, just so they match all the wild Pokemon and stuff. And because all the wild Pokemon names are in all caps. So. Hmm. I'm gonna name it Inferno. Infernape, <laughs> Inferno, uh, I just, that's the coolest name I came up to right now, Inferno, and I'm sorry if I misspelled it right now, but that's the way it's gonna stay forever, unless I decide to change it later on, because you can do that, you can change your nicknames later on, okay, Inferno, sounds good to me, hmm, I see, and you're happy with that nickname, yes I am, your friend Sam, he told me what happened at the lake, I heard, you battled very well, despite it being your first time, and for that I can see that I can see there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, through though it is still young. That's why I would like to, you to entrust you with Chimchar. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm so glad that you were kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, if you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Well, what is it, Don? Speak up, spit it out. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, ahem. Now move, let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want to do you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect um, data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you record Will you use it to record data of all Pokemon in, in Sinnoh for me? Sure, why not? Yeah, hmm, good answer. Stephen, I've the Pokedex. This Pokedex is very is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Stephen, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up, when you walked up Route 201. What with your Pokemon? What did you feel? I lived in. I lived for 60 years. I've lived for 60 years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Stephen. Your grand adventure begins now. Nice. The Pokemon I met that I used for the first time was a Turtwig. If you had chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not really. If I chose Turtwig, you would have a Pepplup. And your rival would have a... And my rival... Uh, my friend would have a Chimchar. Get it right, Dawn. Jeez. 
Not uh, that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in, in a sense, I'm just like you. It's just, I just got a little head start on you, that's all. Oh, he got head start, but I'll see who ends up being the big one in the end. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Steven. And one of these is Don's father. I think it's this one. I am I'm Don's father. I'm happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> I'm sure you can count. I'm sure we can count on you. Okay, that's cool. When you're done, you can just walk out of the lab. But Don interrupts you again. Okay, Stephen, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Okay, Don, rub it in some more. Why not? Why don't you? Okay, the building with the red roof, that's orange, by the way. I'm, that's orange and I'm not colorblind. I'm pre, I'm gonna give you like a 80% chance, 80% that that's orange, not red. <laughs> it's the Pokemon Center. Okay, whatever. It's the place where he heals Pokemon and they, um, that have been hurt in battle. They're very important, actually. They're very important. Pokemon Centers are good. They're your friend. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Steven, since you're a novice trainer, you want to be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Yeah, because I don't have money yet <laughs> to buy like larger stuff and stuff. And besides, oh uh, yeah, hold on, I'll save that for later. Don't let it bother you. Shocked again? Metal Gear Solid over here. Oh, that's right, Steven. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex, you may need to go far away. So I think it sh you should let them someone know. Oh, before you go, heal your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be less scary that way. Okay, bye. Okay, two things. One, uh, in this game, the more badges you have, this um, makes every single Pokemon in Sinnoh uh, sell better items the more badges you have. And it's not like um, in like Pokemon Leaf Green where um, Peter City only has like potions and Pokeballs and antidotes, whether and um, you know Cinnabar only has Ultra Balls and Hyper Potions, and it's not like that. It just depends on how many badges you have. All the Marts will be um, upgraded to the same items depending on how many badges you have, and they'll be get better as you get more badges. And I think that's a better uh, way to do it, but that's just me. So let's see, we can buy some stuff now. We only have three thousand Poké Dollars though, so I'm gonna buy. Buy five Pokeballs. Well, let me start it from the bottom. Actually, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna buy two Prowl Heals. I'm gonna buy three, uh, two Antidotes. We'll get one later in a second. I'll show that off. Um, potions. We'll buy three. We'll buy four, just to be safe. And we'll buy, I guess, two. We'll buy two Pokeballs. That leaves us the $800. 800 Poké Dollars. Okay, that's good. We'll start with that. Okay, and... We go down here to about 219. Oh my gosh, we skipped a lot of the game, guys. <laughs> Here's that uh, Antidote. Free Antidote right there. So that's very worth picking up. And I'm gonna go say goodbye to my moms, because we're going on an adventure, guys. And gals. Okay, we don't need to heal by Pokemon. By the way, I want to show off my Pokemon summary. Just so we're right here. Inferno. Um, it has the uh the imper impish nature, I think. Yeah, like sour food. Um, Blaze's ability, which means it'll if it's missing more than two thirds of its HP, um, it'll get like a two point five um, times on um. His fire type moves. And no Scotch and Weir. Um, he has really good speed, which is 14. Attack and defense is 12. And special attack and special defense is 10. I wanted special attacks to be a little bit higher than that. But that's okay. It could have to do with the nature. The impish nature, as I said. But yeah. Let's go to, um... Back to the, my... Back to, um... My mom's house. And, um... You can avoid wild Pokemon, uh... With just hopping over these ledges. So... That's always good. Go back into a leaf town. Nice. Okay. So, we're gonna go and talk to our mom.
talk to your mom from here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Welcome home, Steven. Are your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. And we hear, and she has up, she has up her Pokemon anyway, so that's pretty nice. I've heard to do that. What's up, Steven? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Oh, God, okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom has got your back. I know, Steven. I've got something that you'll find useful. A journal. Yeah, this is like a mess. What happens, like, uh, previously, after you, like, every time you boot up the game, like, it'll have a little summary of what you last did, so you can remember what you did last. But I, I don't really need to refer to it that much, honestly. So yeah, that's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. That's exactly what it's used for. Cool. Gee, a journal is full. A journey, gee, a journey uh, full of adventure. I wish, I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have a Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Mom. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Steven. I'll be right here by myself, so you, you so go and enjoy your adventure. When you're ex you exposed to the new things, the experience uh, and experience new sensations, it makes you mother it makes your mother happy too. Be back, come be, but come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Uh, excuse me, is my little Sam here? Oh no, he's not. Uh, oh, then he must have left already. What to do? The boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. You can you can see that term where that word bolted a lot with Sam or Revival, who have named Revival, her friend. Uh, he is so headstrong and reckless, I always wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Stephen will deliver it to him. Won't you, Stephen? <laughs> Raising the eyebrow and everything. Sure, Mom, why not? He's my friend. Okay, oh really? You'd do that for me? Sam, uh, St Stephen, please come, please take this to him, to Sam for me. We got the parcel, parcel, which is like a package. Key arms pocket, we got key arms guys, yay. Bye bye Stephen, enjoy your adventures. Let me think, knowing that boy, he's probably headed, he probably had straight for Jubal Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Sam. And she leaves, okay cool. And we can officially start our adventure, really, and go from there. So that was like a bunch of the prologue stuff, if you, if you want to call it that. I'm going to walk through this tall grass so I don't want it to... Okay, I was bound to run into at least one Pokemon in this patch of grass. For this section, at least. Okay, Badoo. Um, I have two Pokeballs, don't I? Let me just double check. Because I want to catch this Badoo just for an HM slave. Pokeballs. Yes, I have two Pokeballs. Nice. Okay, let's catch this Bidoof. Scratch attack, Inferno. I'm afraid if I- Okay, I'm gonna risk scratching it again, but if it gets good or hit, if it knocks it out, I won't be too sad, because there's some plenty of Beedoofs out there. Okay, good. That should be enough. I mean, Beedoof's catch rate is pretty high, so, um, that's good. Pokeball. Go, Pokeball! Let's hope we catch this baby. Our first Pokemon of Sinnoh. Ca about to be trying to be caught right now. Two, three, and there we go. Beedoof was caught. Nice. Yeah, Beedoof was added to Pokedex. Nice. Okay, um, give a nickname to Beedoof. Um, yes, um, I nicknamed my. Okay, I'm not gonna do. I'm not sorry, I'm not gonna do any more comparisons with my old original walkthrough guide of this game. I'll try not my best not to starting now. But I'm gonna name him Buck. Oh, um, it's, uh, it's a girl, Beedoof, so let's name it Becky, actually. Just because it has a. It sounds like a Buck or Becky or something like that. Becky. There we go. Hope I, sp I hope I spelled that right. Okay. Gotta get this long patch of grass right here. A big patch of grass. There we go, nice. Uh, we can heal up at the Pokemon Center, which I'll show off right now. So, we'll do that. Okay, hey, hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We have story your Pokemon to full health. Would you like to dress your Pokemon? Yes. Nice. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Thanks. And here's your PC in this game. You can go to someone's PC, and this is your Pokemon storage system. You can deposit Pokemon. 
Um, and you can like withdraw Pokemon, but you don't have any Pokemon with you, or in the box at least. But they give you like 50, they give you 18 boxes in this game, I believe. So that's pretty cool. So that's just there, just to show off, I guess. So yeah, but this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide part, and the next part will take on the next route up north of us, and hopefully continue with on with it, continue on with our adventure. So this has been Janko again. I like like the adventure again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide.